Hello Survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Frost. As you can see, we are over in uh, Park Street Station again, and we're trying to make our way through all of the not-so-nice people it. over here. Get lost. You being over there makes this kind of difficult. Gonna have to find a different way. Just move along. You know, you walking you towards me here Get lost. does not make this easier. Keep moving. Yep, we're moving. Back off, this is mine. People are so touchy. So damn touchy. Alright, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright. Going back through the tunnels to where we were yesterday. Slowly getting rid of our rads and healing back up with bandages and alcohol. Um, we're going to try to save the rad away for whenever we get a level up and we get medic. Because then we'll get rid of a lot more rads. 40% per uh, perk level on medic is pretty damn important. So yeah, we're going to kind of wait to use up our rad away until we get that. I think we ought to be okay. We are just going into just the ghoul infested areas, so we ought to be fine. So yesterday we went up to the Boston Public Library and uh, went through there. Let's get our ghoul mask on here since we are going into the ghoul-infested area here soon. Right, so last time we went up this way, up through to the library and cleared out this area as well. Today we're going to be continuing uh, that way over there, the stairs over there, that goes up top to uh, the surface. But today we're going to be going back through this other way that continues on into the subway line further. And there'll be a whole bunch more ghouls and stuff over here, and I see no reason not to go ahead and go through and kill them all and get a whole bunch of experience. I mean, it's easy EXP, right? Actually... Okay, these guys are survivors. I don't think it matters if we have the ghoul mask on or not, because they're going to attack us either way. But if memory serves right, these guys just have melee weapons. So, I think they are hostile, but... Not a big deal. Sawyer's Journal. I have a stun grenade. You know, um, the Malden men typically have those. Let's see, anything good here? Not really. Just some bottles and stuff laying around. Yeah, nothing really here. I like this idea, though, that these guys are, like, pushing this thing along. I'm tired already? Man, I haven't done, like, anything. I just woke up, like, not even an hour ago in-game. Oh, well. Let's keep going through. So there's two ways you can go. Um, there's a good bit of stuff back here. Let's see. I can't remember if one of these is the way that you go to get back to, uh, the... Well, one of the ways, if you go back through here, leads to the green line. Which, uh, you can see that right there. Now, we won't be going back here for a long time, but... Uh, if I can just go ahead and blow this up, be okay with that. This uh, turret over here. This should do damage to that over time. I don't know if it'll actually kill it or not, but we'll just wait for it and see how much it does. Did I just throw this over here? Thing creates a lot of smoke, doesn't it? It'd be cool if it actually worked as a deterrent for, like, vision on enemies.
There we go, we got it. Just another obstacle we have to get through eventually, so... Why not go ahead and take care of it now? It's really very red, isn't it? I want to get the ammo on this thing, but I don't want to get too close and take a bunch of damage. I think it's done now, even though the sound's still going. Yeah, there we go. Sound is a bit off on it. Alright, we don't need that stuff. But yeah, this is where you go uh, towards the end of the game. If you're looking for the green line anytime, this is where it is. This is the green line. We can't go there today. We don't have all the required stuff for it yet, but uh, back through here we will go. And uh, these guys are all hostile. <coughs> what was that? Sorry, I didn't hear you, Survivor. All right, now hopefully I can get through here without killing the rest of them. These guys, I think you can... Well, maybe not. You're, like, right in my way, dude. Ah, uh, you guys don't have anything at all, but I'm just gonna have to kill you, aren't I? I'll read that journal here in a minute as well. Once I'm doing some major looting, I'll, I'll read that to you. I'm gonna have to kill you, aren't I? Okay. This poor bastard. You just stay where you are, lady. Or guy. I can't really tell. Yeah, you're a guy. You're a ghoul is what you are, but you stay where you are. They made their choice. You know, it's interesting that the ghouls are not immediately hostile to you. Never thought about that, but the ghouls are not immediately hostile when you have the ghoul mask on. And that's, you know, that's some pretty cool attention to detail there. Gotta say. Overdue books. More overdue books. Anything down here? I never actually checked down here, I don't think. No, nah, nothing here. We do have our mask on, right? Oh, no, we don't. We need to put our ghoul mask on. Crap. Okay, hopefully that guy up here is not gonna be hostile. They are, I may have to go back out. Oh, you know what? This doesn't go very much further, does it? Okay, it's Radex time. Hey! I'll stand in the corners. Uh, I'm just making up rules now so I can kill them without feeling bad for it. What do you got? Ooh, plasma grenades. A automatic calibrated pipe rifle. Some schmokes. Woo! His head went flying. Uh, what is this weapon I just got? Uh, it's a calibrate. It's not, it's not actually that good, though. I thought perhaps it was a rapid automatic, but it's not. No such luck. Suitcase. Typically it's just clothes in suitcase, but I've seen some weird stuff in suitcases in Frost, so we'll give it a shot and see what's in here. Sweet. Just a red dress, okay. That's it. Yep, see, in this case we have some crazy stuff. Well, not crazy, but, you know, we have some decent stuff in there. Not stuff you'd necessarily expect in a suitcase. I think you don't normally find that kind of stuff in there in the main game, but I think in Frost it's a bit more random. Uh, pass on the dress. Alright, so this goes... You know what? I think this is pretty much... Like, I don't think there's actually that much more to it. I think we're at about the end here. I don't know why I pick it up. Chained up. There's plenty of stuff we can get in other places. But yeah, this goes outside. That goes to the surface. And this goes down to the sewers. 
and uh, we most certainly don't want to go down there, at least not with our current loadout. I'd want to go down there with some nice ranged weapons. Nothing but Malden men down there. Nothing but crazies down there. So, uh, that's about it. Actually, that's all that's here. There's this back area over here with a single rad roach around here somewhere. Inside of here, maybe. Yeah. Now, they're not, they're not the huge rad roaches you're used to seeing. They're very small. Because those giant variants don't really exist, or they're, they're very rare if you do find them. They will exist in abundance, obviously, later on, but as of right now, they're just just uh, in the process of mutating. What was that? Bottle for water there. All right. That's like all that's back here, actually. I think we're, we're done going this way. Okay. You know what? It kind of occurs to me that there's not really that much point in going back this way. Now that I really think about it. Besides the green line, there's really not much that point in going back this way. There's nothing that you need back here. But it's explored, and it was some easy experience. We did lose some sanity, though. As he's not immediately hostile, which I find interesting since I have the ghoul mask on right now. Um, gonna drop that. Why am I so low on sanity, though? Oh, the ghoul mask, duh, that's right. I'm, I'm normal, I'd be at 74, but you lose 20 temporarily while you have the ghoul mask on. I had suggested in the past, and I still think this is a valid thing, that it ought to be like just a 20% drop every time you equip it. Just to make it a bit more rough on the player. Oh yeah, another another entrance to the Maldenman area down here. Not going there right now. So, we'll go back through this way, and then I guess we'll go towards the airport ruins, because that's pretty much the only place we have to go towards still. I think. Let me, let me think for a second here about where we are, and if there's anywhere else we can go back through here. Not sure. Oh. This guy had some stuff on him. Let me go ahead and read you that journal as well, while I'm running through here. Up there, it's a whole other world. I don't know what they expect to find there in the snow, but I'll tell you one thing. Only two kinds of people go out there. Wolves and rats. The wolves know the way of the world. They've got the guns, the ammo, and the know-how to make it through the storm. They find, they kill. And the rats? Well, they got nothing. But that's just as dangerous, isn't it? Because they got nothing to lose. So this goes back towards um, Alliance territory. I don't see much reason to go through over here. Uh, yeah, there are mines and stuff here, but man, it's really dangerous to go back through there. I don't have any... I do have a plasma grenade, but I'm not going to use that to get back through there. Almost positive you can just run through here uh, by going this way. Now, there is Medical Center Station over this way, but I don't I don't believe there's anything else over this way. I'm trying to remember what's, what is over here. I can't recall. Let me. I'm gonna go through real quick and just make sure I'm not missing anything. But I'm pretty sure we're like 99% done over here. So like up through here is Medical Center Station, and that goes up into DB Tech High School. Bunch of hostile Alliance and a bunch of hostile survivors over there. Going up through here is the Alliance area, which we already cleared that out. What's that flamer? Oh, this guy, oh, I guess, I guess they're, um, I guess the kid is afraid of us because we have the ghoul mask on. 
It's interesting. Hey, there's some bottles here. Hey, there's some bourbon there. You guys are getting stuff for me. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's this, um... We haven't gone over here. These haven't respawned yet, huh? Oh, didn't get that one, apparently. Can you guys stop screaming? It's, it's hard to, for me to think when you're yelling at me. Let's calm down, people. Huh. Uh, hold on. Did Was this a different note? Because I found a graveyard station note before. Hold on here. I don't know if these are the same or not. Let me check. Oh, okay, so there's... We missed half of it. Okay, I'll go ahead and reread this then. I'll, I'll re read the full one. Post office station is a graveyard. Feds tried to attack from the surface about a week ago. Entrance sealed in the fighting. Now all they've got is the firebomb front, and to be honest, it's a goddamn wonder that line's still open at all. Nice. Won't be long before they've sealed themselves from their own graves. Anyways, we've got to find a way to get all those coffins out of there. Hurts the morale being around the dead like that. And you know, proper burial and all that. They were heroes. They deserve better. Also got nostalgic ponderings to read here. I think what I miss most about those days was the rain. Warm summer rains that washed away all the pain of winter, urging us to begin again. I remember relishing that cool breeze before the storm. I'd sit inside and watch it rage outside my window and I would feel safe. The last rain was black, and then only ice. These guys are not actually hostile, but they're free food and experience. I can't turn it down. I feel bad killing them, especially because they're two of the last good, non-mutated living dogs left in the world. But it is what it is. As for the cow, well, it's a lot of meat. Sorry, cow. Right, so... This way should go back into the orange line where there are mines and stuff everywhere, which we don't want to go this way. If I recall correctly, yeah. Yeah, they're hidden underneath all these things. Yeah, this, this is not the way we want to go. Nothing back this way, it's just a different way of going where you can basically go around the lion's territory which, I get the point of that, that's nice that Nagram gave us the option, but I sure as hell don't want to go over that way and get myself blown up. Okay, this goes into post office station, we don't want to go there right now, so that's, that's once we get into postal we can come back this way. Alright, I think that's pretty much all back here, I just want to make sure we got everything. That's all I want back here. I'm gonna run back through and get back to the other area here. So then we go back into Federation territory. And now we want to go... I think we want to go back. We can't go any further this way. I think we just want to go back and drop off the stuff we just got. That fat man is quite heavy. See, so yeah, we're in Park Street Station now. We're going to go back through here get through this and then go back and start towards airport station for that we're going to need a ranged weapon for the turret so hopefully this is the last time we have to go through park street station for a very long time because i'm not a big fan of uh trying to walk around these guys Like I said, if you if you aggro one, you aggro all of them. I found it first. And that's a problem. We good here? I think we're good here. Get lost. So that's it, huh? Oh crap. Oh no. Run. Are they coming after us? I've got grenades if we need them, but 
I, I don't think we're going to need them. They weren't happy with us, but that's okay. We got our way. Can grab some mushrooms on the way here. Might as well harvest some of these. Like, if nothing else, if I, maybe I won't use the fungal purge, but if nothing else, I can make fungal purge to sell. It does sell for quite a bit. Crazy that they're eating these whenever they are, like, so toxic to you. They make you really hungry. Like, the fungal purge itself makes you super hungry and thirsty and stuff. I'm not sure... Was it be being called purge? Does it, does it make you hurl? Is that how it works? You throw up everything and then that makes you uh, have less rads? Uh, we have enough? I guess we're good. They normally weigh a lot more, I think. By the way, uh, one of my frequent viewers and longtime chat mod and helper and all-around awesome guy, Flunder, who does a couple of the mods that overhaul the UI that I use, um... He is working on adjusting the weights for some of these things. A lot of the things, the weights are not adjusted for frost because frost does change them. They're they're correct in terms of uh, the base game, but they're not correct in terms of what the frost weight should be. So he's working on adjusting those, and uh, that should be updated pretty soon. Probably actually by the time this uh, this play or this video is out. I'm sure he will have that done already. Are we hungry? We are hungry and very thirsty. Well, we're addicted again. Knew that was coming. Okay, there we go. We're good. Uh, we're gonna go this way, right? Yeah, over here and then on the uh, yellow orangish area. There is actually, okay, there's also, we could go up through this way. Um, I'm almost full though on inventory here. We have our ghoul mask off, right? Yeah, our ghoul mask is off. Gotta make sure, man, because you walk into downtown with your ghoul mask on and it's game over. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to drop off stuff. I'm going to grab uh, some more water. I think I have water back here over in my yes. base. I'm going to grab some more water. Dump off our stuff that we just got. Primarily that fat man is just really heavy. I don't know what the point is really, honestly, because when will I ever be able to take this with me and feasibly use it? Because the main nukes are 12 weight each themselves. I don't, I don't know when I will ever really be able to use that, but hey, you know, whatever. So we got to get a, well, first let's get some water here, the rest of our water probably. Maybe a nuke quantum as well, maybe two of those. And we're going to want some kind of uh, ranged weapon to take out that turret. For that turret, the turret's going to take a lot of hits, so we're going to want something pretty powerful for it. Something with high DPS. Maybe our 10 millimeter pistol. Where'd I put that at? This one right here, I think. This will do. We'll be at close range. We just need some uh, 10 millimeter ammo for it. Uh, did I not? Yeah, I just got a whole bunch. There we go. Okay, so we'll take that out and then we can just use our uh, ghoul mask for the rest of it. Get a save in here as well, just in case we have any crashing issues. You never know when you're going to go through a door and then get an infinite loading screen. It does happen. Tell you what, we will cook our food here as well on the way. We're going to be going that way anyway. Huh? Didn't level yet, did I? No, not not quite there yet. Alright. Yeah. Going this way. And I know I'm tired, but I mean, I just slept, so I'm just going to have to deal with it. We'll just use a cola and use caffeine to keep us up. It's crazy that I just slept and that happened already. Alright, we got a whole bunch of glowing fungus. Um, forgot about that. Alright, so let's make... Ooh, cro cockroach. 
Sorry, Cal, but you know, you're a meal, so. There's a whole bunch of food over in the airport area, too. Okay, so let's drop off everything we don't need here. Go away, prompts. I cannot see what I'm doing here. It's fine. Whatever, it's fine. And we want to get our ghoul mask on before we do go through here. Let's put our gun on number two. To be entirely safe here, I'll probably want to use a jet. Maybe just go ahead and use a psycho jet. Put it on three for now. Okay, so we're going to pop a psycho jet and we're going to uh, kill this turret like right away. Okay. Just got to make sure, man, that's turret. And yes, it will attack the ghouls, but it's hostile towards you as well, so... It's, uh, it's not worth it, man. Okay, let's get a Radex going here. And let's kill us some ghouls. Hi, ghouls. Oh, really? An infection? Thanks a lot. Well, at least we have a cure for that right away. Yeah, now we're dehydrated. We good? We're good. All right, let's get through here while we've got... I can always come, like, back through later on. Actually, it won't take long to loot these guys. I'll go ahead and loot them. A lot of cow meat. Already got you. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay, there's a lot of lore back here as well that I can read. Which is pretty cool stuff. I'll probably kind of try to make my way through here quickly. So that I can not have to use a bunch of Rad-X. There's all kinds of stuff in here, too. There's a journal in here, too. Let's see if I can find the journal. Maybe it's not here. It's in the next one. One of these burn piles has a journal in it, though. Overtired, really? Or maybe it's just a, a dead survivor over here has a journal on. I forget. I guess a journal probably would not have survived being burned, would it? Yeah, these survivors right here. Nice, Red X. Stop it. No, don't fill it with dirty water. I don't trust trying to loot that guy. I'm going to end up getting rads from it. Already got a whole bunch of rads from that. Let's get more booze going. Got to feed our addiction, man. Is that all we... Oh, we have wine. Yeah, we can do wine. It's fine. Okay, let's take a look here. So nothing here. There are two survivors here. Jones Journal. Tell you what we'll do. We'll give you guys a proper burial here. Pretty sure they were in the uh, process of doing this, but... I'm going to read Jones Journal now and I'll have it going while we uh, explore more here. 9481. Airport Station has really become a bustling place these last few weeks. 
With Revere Beach gone, all of the scavers have relocated here. It's sad what happened up there, but I can't help but appreciate the ad business has given us. 103181. Happy Halloween! Took the kids down to downtown as a treat. The kind of people you meet there. I met a nice scaver from all the way in the Fens. His name is Matt. But that's not to say Airport Station was bad, either. It's gotten so crowded there, we've had to start setting up sleeping bags in the parking garages and concourse. 111281. Things are going well with Matt. The kids like him, too. But he worries too much. He keeps going on about leaks in the walls and how it's not safe to hang around in the concourse. If the air is so toxic, why isn't anybody getting sick? 122581. I feel awful. I look awful. My hair is almost gone and my skin's scabbing up. Merry Christmas. Matt's gone back to downtown to talk with the captain about all this. 11182. Things are getting worse. Ms. Hines from across the tracks looks even more decrepit than usual and I swear Mr. Warwick growled at me. But Matt's coming back soon, I know it. He's coming back with medicine and help and we'll all be well again in no time. So from that we can learn that um, Joan had a boyfriend named Matt that she met over in downtown. Unfortunately, things did not work out because, of course, they both got sick from the radiation. People didn't realize that the radiation would be such a big deal at first. Let me get some radix going again here. There are a lot of these guys out here. But also a lot of loot. We're almost to our next level. Just gotta head stab a few more people. A lot of rads through here, man. A lot of rads. Come on, level up. As soon as I level, I'll get a bunch more um, red X taken. I just don't want to do it until I actually level up here a bit. I think that goes back down through. I want to clear out this entire area first, though. More red axe, that's good. Uh, some pipe rifle, now I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, I'm gonna walk all the way back down to the bottom of this. Wait, where'd you come from? Didn't see you before. Syringer rifle, hey, I actually got a syringer. I have a bunch of ammo for that. Um, I could take the elevator. Does this go down? I can't, oh, you can't use this one. That's right. See, there are more down below we want to go and take out. Let's get some alcohol going at least to counteract some of this radiation. Dehydrated. This goes back towards where we were, right? So I'm gonna go all the way down here. Is yeah, the glowing one. That glowing one should get us to our next level, I hope. Please get me to the next level. Thank goodness. That got us really low on health, though. Oh my gosh, we're super low. We're so irradiated, but we're finally there. Oh my gosh, all right. Well, we're getting medic for sure. Oh, 
hungry and weary and probably thirsty as well. Okay, we're fed and hydrated. Cool. So that's taken care of. We're also very tired. Let's get a um, get a bandage going as well here. We shouldn't take any damage, so it's fine that we're this low. It's not a big deal. Now, if we wanted to go up top, that would be a different matter because going up top, well, if you want to go up there, um, you, well, you're going to have to go with a flamer because there's so many ghouls. Not even I am quite crazy enough to go up there on a, a, you know, oh, flamer fuel. Totally missed that. Not even I am quite crazy enough to go up there on uh, this kind of a run and try to get through it without like a flamer or something. Maybe on a regular run I'd do it, but not on a permadeath run. No, thank you. See nothing good there. Nope. I may drop a pretty significant portion of this junk, but you know, for now we can take it. Anything on this? I don't think there's any lore on here. Probably just a turret or something. Yes. Okay. Yeah, just just does a turret there. We don't care about the turret too much. We're not going to fight it, but we're not going to uh, worry about it either. Right. So this goes to the inside of the airport ruins, which we do want to clear out today. There's quite a lot to clear out in here. This goes on to the Lexington line, I believe. There's, uh, this whole area is not, doesn't have a gas leak, but that area right there in front of the door, there's like gas coming from the door there. I didn't realize you could do that. It's pretty cool that you can, but I did not realize you could do it like that. Yeah, feral ghouls all around over here. Ooh, lots of rads there. Uh, let's see. More rad X, please. Get rid of these guys quickly. Come on, face me. Face me, Feral. Would like to get rid of you guys before I take too many rads. There it goes back again, all those rads. See, why couldn't I have procced on the previous one, man? All right, let's go through. I'm going to go through this and I'll loot it afterwards because I want to make sure that I don't run out of rad X here. We'll do all this stuff afterwards. First, we gotta get through here. Need the ID card. Come on. Got it. Oh my gosh. Is that it? Think think we're done. Wow, even with the Rad X man, we were sucking down the rads like crazy. Okay. Now we can lose stuff. Jeez. 
That was absolutely crazy. So what we learned from both uh, Daisy's, or not Daisy's, but Daisy's boyfriend's journal, as well as uh, Joanne's journal, is that the people in these areas that were like right next to the metro, but not actually in the metro, that weren't sealed off completely, um, they did not make it. Most of them turned feral. Some just turned into regular ghouls, but many of them turned feral. And that's what we're fighting now, is the remnants of all those people. Let's go ahead and pop a, um, another rat away. No bandage going here. Do we have bandage going still? I don't think we do anymore. Now let's go ahead and get a bandage going. If I find a reasonable bed around here, I need to actually need to actually find a bed and sleep in it, man. We're so exhausted from using the right away. Okay, so that's this area is uh, looted and done. I think this room here is done. Go to this one. A lot of gas over here. I don't need oil too much anymore. I'm not gonna worry about that too much at this point. Like I don't need to make Molotovs anymore. We've got we've got so many explosives, we'll never need more than what we have. There is a bunch. Already got the fusion core. There's a whole bunch of um cram and food over here in general. Mole rat meat. Of course this is here because in the base game uh, what's his name? Knight Clark I believe. Brotherhood of Steel Knight Clark was feeding the ferals down here because he felt bad for them because he felt like even though they were mindless they were the same as his friend who was a regular ghoul who got gunned down by the brotherhood you have to go and turn him in and stuff and yeah it doesn't end well lots of cram this is a bunch of sandy items here too all that pre-war food restores sandy so it's pretty awesome won't be able to hack this i can't get into there doesn't matter though if i use a second nuka cola will that make me like more awake. I don't I don't think you can get any more than just like not exhausted. You got all of that stuff, right? Leave no food behind here, that's for sure. I don't want to come back here again. Ooh, missiles. Um I don't need that. I really, really don't need that. Uh, I'm going to probably just drop it because there's no reason for me to take that back at all. What about these? This is my good one. This one's pretty reasonable too, but it's rather heavy. That mining helmet's actually not that great as far as uh, value per weight. It's not that good. Let me sort here and I'm going to drop a whole drop a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, so if it has oil in it here, I'm probably just going to drop it. We don't need it that badly anymore. Really I'm over encumbered still. Alright, we're just about full here. Now, can we... I think we can go up on the upper level here, too. We haven't, uh, we haven't looted the upper level, though, yet. So let's go back up through and get all that stuff, and then we'll just make a trip back, I think, and probably get some sleep. Poor character's so exhausted from all those rads he took and had to get rid of with Rataway. 
So yeah, we'll go through here and loot stuff, and then we'll just go back. Poor guy's exhausted. Oh, crap. My wine is gone. All I have left is whiskey. Let's see, any lore? I don't think there's any lore here, but we'll check. Nope. That's all base game stuff. By the way, to, to loot those guys, the uh, glowing ones, you just have to crouch down and press E when you're looking at them. It will let you loot them, but the... It doesn't show up as being able to loot them whenever you're actually looking at them for whatever reason. Just a little bug in the game. Nice! Berry Mentats. Uh, we don't need those guns. Those are going to weigh too much. That one gun's going to weigh too much? Yeah. Telephones. There's four telephones there. If we ever need circuitry, I can always grab it there. I don't think that has any... I don't think any of the spawned-in weapons have ammo in them. But, you know, you never know. Okay, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just pop in here for one second to see where this goes. Just, it'll jog my memory. This either goes to Lexington or it goes to the Themis Cultist area. I can't remember which one. I just want to know which one it goes to. This goes, like, deeper in, doesn't it? Yes, I remember now. This goes to the Themis Cultist area. There's some pretty cool lore books back here that we'll have to pick up later. You have to swim through this to get through. As far as I know. There's no way to get through without taking some rads. And there are frag mines, like, everywhere out here. Guards report two of three. They've taken the forward camps. No contact from Revere Beach. We cannot stop them. Our only hope is to collapse the tunnel. God rest our souls. We'll take that and uh, we'll get the rest of them later on. All right, well, we're not going to go any further back here right now. I do recall this place now, though. It goes quite back deep here. Quite deep back here. Those words were not in the correct order. But in any case... Oh, there's guard... Oh, I knew there was a guard report here. Here's three of three. It's done. No sense packing up. We leave this place as it is. May it serve as a reminder of the enemy we face. So they got the hell out of Dodge, basically, is what they're saying. Okay. That music got really, really dramatic there. Alright, survivors. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and head all the way back to our base at Valenti Station, drop stuff off, take some rad away. I think one or two rad away should do it to get rid of all these rads. Uh, sleep for the night, stash all the stuff that we've gotten, sort through stuff and everything. And then next episode, we're going to be doing some real combat. I'll be taking the flamer out to the airport surface. So we're going to be fighting the ghouls on the surface. That'll be significantly more dangerous, but there is quite a bit of good loot up there that I want to get. And of course, ghouls give great experience. Uh, we have plenty of flamer fuel. The flamer is really good um, against ghouls. I don't really see any reason why I should die while we're doing that. So I'm not too concerned, but that is going to be it for today. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.